technical difficulties today. Uh, I was wearing my course suit, but it got too bloody hot. Yes, I want a course suit. And it's black and red. You must know. I'm still in my wild red boots. Red boots. See? Red boots. Yes! Skirt, all that good stuff. Yeah. I'm going to convert my VHS tapes to DVD or maybe computer. Depends whichever works better. And then, uh, let's see, after I've got the reservoir for my CPAP machine, I'm not expecting. Uh, because my old one leaked. Suck. Not painted my nails today. I don't understand what color they are. You got me! And, uh, so I'm colorblind, so those are things I don't know. Oh, yeah. One lady at work asked me about my boots and wanted to try them on, because apparently she has larger feet. Like I told her, they're probably going to sink because of boots, and I've worn them all day and probably sweat. So, whatever it is. So, if I kill her off, I'm sorry. I put all those back. Also, uh, this is my head. Xbox headset. Hopefully the bike works better. No promises. Uh, probably no money to buy one anytime soon because I went to the doctor's office and apparently my insurance is worthless. And I owe the doctor now 200 and some odd dollars. Holy crap. Oh, whatever. So thanks to New Mountain Healthcare for apparently pretty much nothing but a bill. And, uh, Maybe hopefully to avoid a fight from Obama. Well, honestly, fines are probably cheaper. So it's 270 bucks a month. I can probably pay off the fine like a couple months. Maybe. Although I've heard now they're threatening to jail people. Really? Really? Yeah. I know how true that is. It's from my mom. And my mom tends to lie like a rug. So, who knows? If it's correct, let me know. If it's not correct, well, tell me. Jason! Or Marilyn, however you prefer to think of me as. Your mom's full of crap. Well, she might be, for all I know. I'm still not sure I like this week. Me? Out of it. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. That cool mini DVD with my uh, adapter. Woo! Mini DVD. Mini DVD! Uh, uh, just showing. Eventually, I gotta get out of these boots. They're hot. Eh. Hot boots. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. If you're wondering, I already did this video once. But, you know, I don't know. It didn't record very well. But, uh, uh, one of my co workers um, asked me why I started cross dressing about 12 ish. Maybe, give or take a little bit. Like I told them, I stopped for a long time because of my parents. Well, I was saying so with my mom. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dead to her. Hello, Mom. I'm your dead daughter, Marilyn. Nice to meet you. And my dad has a really good thing where if he knew when I ate this, he'd probably kill me. Yeah. Not a fan of cross dressing, my dad. He's, you know, man fan. Uh, me on guns. Kill stuff. Oh, ugga, ugga, ugga. Me clock wife. Bring her to a cave. Yeah. Pretty much that bad. Yeah, fairly close. And let's see. He still on occasion uses the N word. And I think we all know what that is. For black people. Or African American people. Yeah. Whatever else politically correct term there is other than the N word. Because uh, I'm not going to. Yeah, thanks, Dad, for saying the N word in front of my kid before. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. It's like, son, don't say that word. I know Grandpa says it, but don't say it. That's a fun conversation to have with your child. You see, Billy? My son's not really named Billy, but you know what? My grandpa's a, grandpa's a racist. Not. Uh, whatever. Oh uh, yeah, 
landed finally and read a fashion article and for those that like my fashion article. I don't know if anybody ever reads them. But so if you do read them, I finally did read one. And for the dude on Google Plus that asked, yes, I'm a dude. And yes, I wear dresses, skirts, heels, etc. Broad string. <laughs> and yes, if I channel Mrs. Dalsar occasionally, uh, I'm sure I'll be sued by copyright. And I don't think Mr. Williams would mind if the only name Robin Williams, of course, played Mrs. Dalsar. And I don't know. I liked some of the humor in the movie, although, honestly, Mrs. Dalsar was depressing and sad to me because it reminded my own parents divorce. I don't know if I ever finished watching the movie, but I'm finding out I'm going to just sail by. In a blaze of glory with a shootout in the front yard. I know, that's not how it really, but whatever. I don't care. But the movie just freaking depresses me. I might as well watch Steel Magnolias. And yes, I've seen that one, unfortunately. With my father. Which is because my mom sister, or maybe both of them, I forget, it's been a while ago, rented it, and then they never watched it, my dad's like, we gotta watch this damn there movie, because, you know, it's, well, he's paid for it, he doesn't really talk about that, but sometimes he does, and I'm like, huh? And so, me and my dad are sitting there watching Steel Magnolias, which, by the way, is a depressing as crap movie, and we're sitting there. I can't cry. I can't cry. I don't care if they rip out my spine. I will not cry in front of my father. Because around my dad. No crying. Doesn't matter. If, like I say, if they rip out your spine or something, you better not cry. No matter what. Or, you know, you're not a man anymore. Yeah, maybe. Woo! I'm kind of sorry. Got distracted by the Pratt of Anyway, so. You know, we were sitting there watching Steel Magnolias. Dear Pete's sake. Two men watching Steel Magnolias and they're not allowed to cry? That is just plain sadistic. Because Steel Magnolias, if you want to be depressed, and just, you know, cry a bucket of tears, pretty much. Unless you're a guy, because that's illegal. It's like in the Kai Code book or something. Which apparently I never receive or tend to ignore. Yeah, it says, Thou shalt not wear dresses, thou shalt not cry, thou shalt not, I don't know, wear heels, thou shalt not, I don't know, whatever else is in the guy code, but thou shalt smash beer cans against thy head and act like a fucking dumb skull. Sorry. Some men just do not impress me, and I don't know, I'm a dude, but some guys are just like, huh? Did somebody hit you outside the head with a sledgehammer or something? Because they're just, I don't know. Me, man. Me, idiot. Like, okay. Okay, Billy. Stay away from the sharp objects. Please. Well, maybe not please. Maybe aim for your wrist. Yeah, yeah. Aim for the wrist, Billy. Aim for the wrist. But yeah, some men just do not impress me. And yes, I'm a dude. But I'm sorry. Some dudes just do. Especially... And I know I'm going to be called a racist or something. But, trust me, if one more Middle Eastern man hits on me, Mohammed, I had sex with a camel, I'm going to be irritated. Well, you know, I am already irritated. You know, oh, you're a beautiful woman. Urgh. Mohammed, you need your eyes checked. And quit having sex with that poor camel. It's not interesting. That's probably why I kicked you in the crotch. Yes, I went there. Eh, whatever. I've never claimed to be appropriate. <laughs> Me appropriate? Oh, ho, ho. That's a good one. Also, I've been attempting to get asthma medication. Oh, that's a good story. 280 effing dollars. Don't ask me what that is in real money, because effing apparently is not a real thing. <laughs> dollars for asthma meds? Really? Why? Really? Do I look like I'm made out of money? Trust me, I'm not. This bra is padded, yes. But that's what sock. Because I was too poor to buy that. What do they call them? 
Yeah. Big boot. Kind of you like to strap on. Tape off. Whatever. I don't know. I've never done it. Not, you know, like an actual breast augmentation. No, no way in heck can I afford that. That's like, I don't know. What is it, ladies? Or gentlemen? Whatever I had it done. Like five to seven grand or more now? <coughs> you, thank you. Yeah, too much money. Eh. I suppose if I want to work. Eh. I want Brenda to transition into female so it's male focus. I could just borrow hers. Eh, there's a big stuff in there. Here it is. Sorry for pronoun issues. I guess it's a little confusing. I guess it should say his because he's going to be. Eh, yeah, I don't know. Eh, because you're not supposed to refer to their former sex. <laughs> yeah, they used to be a woman, but they've always thought they were a man. Now they're becoming a man. I think that's about as close to accurate as I'm ever going to get. Sorry if I offended you. Ugh. That's just a freaking nightmare some days in Genderland. Although I'm no better than that. He and I dress in my male clothes and wear she or female program pronoun and dress like her. Because that's what most dudes have brought. If they do, you know, they probably cross dresses. Or something. Or transitioning to bigger. Or maybe still dressing. See you know what I mean? It's getting all fucking weird. Well, whatever. Well, it's nothing against transgender people or cross dressers. It's just some days the whole gender thing could be like smoke pouring out my ear and my brain just like hamsters like I don't know. Over in the corner just twitching in agony going, Ah, oh, no more, no more <laughs> Too much speed or something, I don't know. Poor guy. Yes folks, I picture my brain as a hamster. Yeah, I'm like on the little wheel. That's what power is like. Apparently, apparently, it's over in the corner smoking. Or maybe she, or they, or whatever proper pronoun is for hamsters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do hamsters have gender issues? Oh. Questions that's only ask. Do hamsters have gender issues? Today on Maryland. Let's interview a hamster. <laughs> You're like, hold the microphone in front of me. Okay, Mr. or Mrs. Hamster, what pronoun do you prefer? Twitch, you know, is once for female and twice for male. Uh-oh, three times. What the hell is that? We don't know, folks. Uh-oh. Red Red alert, red alert. Good. Now you get the point. Make you wonder, though. Do other animals have sex with humans? Because technically we're animals. Have any sense of gender or you know, what we would call gender? Mm. Mm -hmm. Like maybe chimpanzees or something, as an example. I don't know. Like do you know male chimpanzees ever think of the likes of females? Or vice versa? Or, you know, have gender issues? Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm just, this is how my brain works. Like I say, my hamster's kind of interesting. An empty, maybe, smoky pot over in the corner of my brain. Like, Whoa, man! <laughs> Sorry, too many Cheech and Chad movies. I know, I've never seen an entire one. But I do remember the pot. They were funny. And no, I don't smoke too real. It's just a funny picture, like a hamster just sitting there going, Whoa, man, like that was really good. <sighs> <laughs> yes, people, I just uh, had a hamster named Drake. Welcome to my world. And you wonder where some of the oddness comes from. See, my brain works in strange ways. I don't know. I have a on my brain damage. That's always a good use. Because technically, I do have brain damage. Supposedly, it's really small. And uh, it doesn't affect me too bad. I do walk a little interestingly, apparently, if you really know what you're looking for. Also, I've been told I don't talk quite 
right, right. People, thank you, people, because you know I didn't re realize that I had that issue since people have telling me that since I was like I don't know seven or less. Thanks. <coughs> and I probably rattled on and on enough today and offended more than enough people. Sorry, I don't mean to. Myself. A little weird, quirky, whatever you want to call it. Occasionally misses out fire, apparently. So, yeah, whatever. Occasionally, Larry the Cable Guy. I'm happier in a tornado than a twi twister park. Can't remember the line. I'm happier in a tornado than a trailer park. That's it. Made it. I love this one. This hurts. If you don't know who made it is, watch Cars. If you don't know what Cars is, you don't have kids. If you don't have kids, you know, I mean, on any of you, they may be lucky. Or, if you don't have kids or end all being all of life, you're not lucky. Depends on how you look at it. Anyway, this is Marilyn saying goodbye for today. I hope you all have a good cross-dressing Thursday. I hope no one else is wearing a corset. Because I feel for you if you are. And uh, I'll talk to you whenever. Marilyn saying bye-bye.